Last night at approximately 11.30 p.m., I had a fabulous idea that every single person I've told this idea to tells me not to do it, which is how you know it's a really good idea. Okay, so you already saw in the title, it's true. I am going to make my bridesmaid dresses. I contemplated putting attempt to make the bridesmaid dresses, but I'm just gonna start off really optimistic. Okay, we'll see where this takes us. If you watched my Valentine's Day dress video, I got a lot of confidence from that because I literally made a garment that I wore and it was awesome. And it didn't fall apart. So maybe I'm being overly confident. I probably am. It wouldn't be the first time. But I will be humbled naturally and I will accept defeat if it comes to me, okay? Okay, anyways, I'm done being funny. Hehe, <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, so if you watched my trying to find bridesmaid dress video, I loved the dresses, but they just weren't clicking for me. And a bunch of you guys in the comments were suggesting which one you thought I should do or which one you thought would go with what I'm doing or with my wedding or what you thought would see fit. And I agree. Like, they're all really nice. A lot of people were saying you can't go wrong, but for some reason, I just can't choose one. I don't know why. I feel like the bridesmaid dresses are as important as my dress. They're gonna be in all the pictures. They are the statement color. I just want it to be perfect. And you know, what better way to make a perfect dress than let an amateur sewer make them? At this point, I'm just trying to justify why I'm making them. Basically, the style hasn't been the problem for me. It's been the patterns. So today I'm gonna head to Fabricland and I'm hoping to just get a lot of inspiration and who knows, maybe I'll get the fabric. I found a video online of the style that I really like and this YouTuber is fantastic. I was looking through a lot of their videos. They have super instructional videos that seem very doable, but I'll intro that video later when we get to that part. But it's a style of dress that isn't quite as complex as the Valentine's dress I made, so I'm hoping that I can make three of them. Is this a terrible idea or is this an amazing idea? I guess we won't know till the end because if it works out perfectly, then I think it was an amazing idea. And then I have bragging rights at the wedding. Anytime someone's like, oh, I like that dress, I'll be I made it. Yeah, I made it. Anyways, let's go to fabric land, shall we? <laughs> Mom's just happy to be leaving the house. We need out more. It's a little bit cream, too cream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of the gatekeeper of white right now. That's pretty. This is pretty too. That is, oh, that is pretty. And that's kind of fun and gardeny. Yes, I love What do you think that. of this? So as you guys saw yesterday, I picked up the fabric. Firstly, I got this fabric, not for this video, just for having some fabric and it was really pretty. So I got this blue floral one because I was thinking, you know what, even if I don't use it for these dresses, I'll use it in the future. This one I thought was one of the most beautiful fabrics I've ever seen, so I got that one too. But the one I was actually 100% sure would be some, if not all, the bridesmaid dresses, which now I'm leaning to all of them being the same fabric, is this gorgeous green and white gingham. So as you guys probably know, I had mentioned that I had found a video of a dress style that I love, and I was gonna mention that. So this is the channel, Paper Stixers. Oh my gosh, am I saying this wrong? Hold on, is there like a pronunciation? I don't know how to pronounce Ali's channel name, but this is the channel that I found the video. It's called Easy DIY Dress, no zipper, and it has pockets. To the living room with our 48 sheets of paper. Okay, I have everything laid out. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher. It is currently cleaning my dishes. I feel a little bit like I'm just stalling right now, avoiding the actual sewing part. I'm just enjoying this part of pure bliss before I start sewing for real. All right, all right, all right. The pattern is all cut out. I got all my bridesmaids mem measure memberships, measurements. And turns out they are all mediums. So that makes my life a little simpler because I just have to make three dresses the same size. Quite a lot of fabric these dresses need because although these don't look very big, they have to be cut on a fold. There needs to be four of this one. 
So we have a lot of cutting. I hope we have enough fabric. I got as much as I could. There was only the last bit of the bolt. I think it was 13.9 yards. So hopefully that's enough. Also, this is the new craft room. Let me show you. We just recently... Oh my goodness, it is so windy out. Can you hear that? There's not much I can do but the wind. But yes, this is the new craft room. I'm gonna organize all my craft supplies in here. And I think eventually we'll have more exciting things going on up here. But this room is like freshly painted. My nose was running for like four days. It's finally done. So we've got the gingham fabric. I sat on this for probably two weeks. Not literally, I mean like I was sitting on it deciding. And I'm pretty sold on the gingham, honestly. except for the bow back ruffles. So I'm gonna cut this out and then I need to make another one of this and three of these on a fold. So, so much fabric to make ruffles. Look at me, a seamstress. Okay, all of the pieces are cut out. I underestimate how long that takes every time like i'm so hungry now this was all my extra pieces that got cut which i will definitely have to use for the other dresses and possibly tate's shirt and maybe even i was thinking like little pocket squares for the groomsmen so that will be important later but now i need a snack and then we'll hop on the sewing machine okay i just had a snack got my green tea oh my gosh so hot let's visit the video. I've probably watched this video 15 times in preparation and I still don't fully grasp it. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm supposed to do the dart on the good looking side or the bad looking side. I don't know. I really don't know today. Today is a day I don't know. I feel like on the bad side because then it would be, or sorry, not the bad side, the not aesthetic looking side. Okay, oh my goodness. Also, this video is 12 minutes, this instructional video. So <laughs> we're gonna make a dress in 12 minutes. Isn't that crazy? I figured out the darts, I think, and I'm gonna try and sew them up. Basically, I took my pattern and I cut the dart holes out and I used a really, really light pen. So we will see how that goes when I'm gonna sew it up. I'm just really itching to get on the sewing machine if I'm being honest. We, we love the sewing machine. Uh, let's see the first one. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Ooh, it looks like a picnic table. Love that. The day I figure out how to do a dart correctly will be the day that I am so powerful. Okay, off camera, I just sewed this. I'm just seeing how uneven this is, the pattern. Okay, but I sewed the straps. I used the little one inch marker on the sewing machine, but I want to show you this product I saw. I saw this in someone else's video. Apparently these are supposed to help you turn your straps inside out. I basically just want a tool for everything. And then you just hook your fabric and then you're gonna do this. The police are coming. I need to trim this down a little. See how much there's like as much fabric there on the side as there is? That's probably why it can't go. Okay, trim it down. It's happening. The teeth are involved. <gasps> We're getting it. It's just like, it's not a quick solution, you know? Like it's quick, but it's also not. It's good, but it's not. It's fun, but it's not, you know? <gasps> it came out. Okay, work. They're losing me slightly. What's going on? So basically I need to figure out where I want the straps. This is kind of the important part because like the symmetry of it needs to make sense, I feel like. If the symmetry is not making sense, what are we doing? I feel like half the video is just me sitting here silently pinning things. But isn't that just kind of sewing though? Tongue out, check. You know, I actually didn't know I did that until watching and editing through the Valentine's Day dress video. I didn't know I was the person that went like, 
when I work. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there and I am one of you. I just didn't know. I did not know I did that. Sure enough, I do. This is my concentration. Let's see. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Holy, this is cute. Okay, work. What the heck? What am I saying, first of all? To the person who made this video, I just wanna say thank you. Sewing is so fun. Seriously, if you're nervous to start sewing, I just suggest trying it out. I mean, obviously there's expenses like fabric, which fa some fabrics are really, really affordable, but the sewing machine is obviously the big cost. But oh my goodness, if it's something that excites you, I recommend saving up because like, look at that. And it only took me six hours, people. <laughs> Here's our shirt so far, which by the way, I would literally just stop at a shirt here. At a back, call it a day, but a boo, but a bee. But I'm gonna continue on. <laughs> I forgot I was filming. <laughs> that scared me. I looked over and I was like, what? Now I gotta attach these to the bodice. The bodice. Go attach them to the bodice. Watching YouTube at 0.25 has officially commenced. My brain about combusted when I was trying to figure this out, but I think I got it now. There's just so much fabric to work with now. Flip inside out. Oh my. Oh my gosh. What's the front? What's the back? I don't know how to tell. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I did that. Yes, I did that. And it ties up in the back in a bow. What's all this? Oh my gosh, this looks great. Does it? It's so nice. Mia, you've done it. You've really, really done this. Really? Yes. Let me see. <gasps> Lift your arms up. How are they? Perfect. It feels like it feels like I've got room. I see my darts are a little uneven, but your bouquet will block that. Mom, hold your bouquet up good, okay? <laughs> hold it like you mean it. <laughs> that looks so cute. Look at that. Why is it focusing? I want to show you this. Look at that. Look at that little square. Look how small it is, the little square I made. It looks really cute. Oh my gosh, and now the strap is on. I am always surprised and impressed. Like how is this happening? I swear you guys, if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. Trust and believe. Okay, well, this is what we got done on day one. That rhymed. Okay, so it's the next day. Initially, I thought it would be funny if I just continued to wear that green outfit. But yesterday I was cooking and I spilt all over it. So I had to change. But I wanted to wear green again. Keep it green in here. But nobody cares about my outfit. Everybody wants to see the dress. So let us continue on. Okay, so pockets. Oh, <laughs> did I mention this has pockets? <laughs> Pockets are in place. Let's sew them on. Oh gosh. Oh. I'm having a good time. I woke up and now I'm doing this and I'm happy. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, let's try and sew this. This is a lot of angles here. Okay, let's see how the pockets look. Please be right. <gasps> That is amazing! Pocket! Oh my gosh, it's so easy! That's so interesting. I always thought pockets would be really, really hard. I think we have to do basting stitches, which never done those before, so this should be interesting. So you change the settings on your sewing machine to make a very wide seam, and then you can like pull it and it ruches up, which is an interesting concept. So I have to only do that to the front. And now I just gotta add one more. <laughs> right below it, like an inch below. This should be a moment. Let's see. 
Oh my gosh, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening, people. <gasps> oh my gosh. You're kidding me. I've never done this before. I ain't never done this before. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look how tight of a ruffle I did. Okay, well, I tightened it way too much, but like, look at that. Oh my gosh, that makes the fabric look better too, to have that. So I just want it to fit in this bodice section. All right, let's sew this. Let's just see. Okay, I'm scared of that. Definitely scared of that. Okay, the basting stitch crisis was averted. I got them pulled out. At first they wouldn't go out, but now it's coming together. Also, what is that? Might have to stick something over that. Maybe like a flower. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the elastic off camera because honestly, I am so confused by it. I need to just focus. One eternity later. I figured it out. And this is gonna be what keeps the dress on the butt. So this is important. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're really doing it, Mia. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, I'm just gonna keep those out of the way for a okay. sec. I've got pockets. Yes, you do have pockets. Oh, I love that. This is insane, like how much fabric this is. It makes me feel like I cut too much, but I don't think I did. It's just so much ruffles. Okay, and then you open it up and it's a big, long ruffle. But believe it or not, people, we're doing it again. Again, they said. Oh my gosh, no. No, you did not. All right, well, this will take me a minute. <clears throat> All right, we gotta do that again. Oh my gosh, so much, like what? Oh my gosh, this ruffle will be the death of me. Also, my ruffle wasn't big enough. And then I just need to finish the raw edge on the bottom, which will be pretty easy. And then there's a lot of things on the inside that I need to fix, like this sort of thing. But I honestly don't wanna bore you with any more of the details, just because like, I feel like the rest of this is just user error on my part. So give me one second. Okay, that took a long time. Mom? <laughs> My model. I can't believe you're locked in this room for like a day and a half and you've made a dress. Like how is that possible? Isn't it cute? Oh gosh, it is so cute. All right, you guys. After two days, I would like to introduce you to the first bridesmaid dress. That's your cue, mom. <laughs> Twirl. Oh my goodness! It's a swing dress! <laughs> Here, let's see the bow. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. And obviously, you guys, she's not gonna be wearing a bra. I can't even believe you made this! You really did this! These hands, they did this! Like, are you kidding me? The weird thing about it, too, is once all of them are done, all of the fabric was only like $32. Oh my word. So it's like $11 <laughs> a dress. Oh my gosh. But like, I like it. It's a huge success. And I went like, the, it's got pockets and everything. All right, well, I would say that that was a wild and crazy success. Now I just have to make two more dresses and a shirt. Long time no talk. It's been a second for you, but it, it's been a bit of a little bit of a It's been about two weeks for me, and I'm finally back to complete the last two of these bridesmaid dresses. 
I actually already cut out the pattern and I learned that I am officially out of fabric. So I don't know how I'm gonna make Tate's shirt. I've been aggressively searching for this fabric online and I found it at one spot, but it doesn't ship to America. Or sorry, it doesn't ship to Canada. So I asked my friend in California if I could ship it to her and she said yes, so then I bought it to her, but then I got it refunded and it never shipped. So right now I'm just kind of ignoring the fact that I'm running out of fabric. The other day I went to Fabric Land and I got this fabric because I didn't have enough for the third dress's ruffles. So I thought this beautiful eyelet fabric would be cute to complete the ruffle. And I mean, it's not unheard of that the maid of honor dress will be a little bit different. So I was thinking I'll add this to the maid of honors dress, just add a little bit of pizzazz. Also, I organized my fabric. Oh my goodness, I'm getting such a little collection. I got these at the thrift store. I went in and I was like, oh my goodness, they sell fabric at the thrift store? I did not know. I bought this sheet, which I plan on turning into something. You also may be noticing that I have two desks set up. Why, you may be asking? When I completed the first dress, this super, super sweet girl was so interested in how I made the dress. So I decided to invite her in to help me to complete the last two dresses. Because I mean like, a helpful set of hands will never be denied. But I'm gonna get started because we got lots of work to do. Oh, it looks as though the young girl is here to learn. Come on in. <laughs> Hello. Are you here to learn? I'm here for my sewing class. Yes, the young girl was my mom. She saw the finished dress, obviously, and then has nonstop been asking if she can make one. So I thought we would make them together, since I have two more to make. I'll make it as I teach her to make one. And then, cuts my job in half. Here's your fabric! <laughs> Get a queen with your fabric! I guess I better wear my glasses. What we're gonna start off by doing is we're gonna make the darts. Okay. Two seconds later. Oh, I missed! Get out! <laughs> the, the, the needle the came, thread came, thread came out of the needle twice. What are you doing? Get your hands out of here! Get your hands out of my way! You wanna see? You wanna see this work? <laughs> there, it's working. <laughs> Something really weird is happening <laughs> over there. Here's what I think. The first time I did it, it was hard. And then the second time I got, well, actually off camera, I made another one. So now I've gotten to the point where I know it well enough to teach it, which I think if you can teach something, that means you really got it. So here I am and I get it. She's now the teacher. All right, we've been working for hours. As you can see, the lighting's starting to get a little darker. But I just cut the ruffle from this beautiful eyelet fabric I was showing you guys. So we'll see how the ruffle looks. I hope it looks cute. I don't think this will be a big deal. And it'll make mom feel a little special. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, are you done? I'm done. You guys, I was just attaching my mom's strap and I did an extra secure line <laughs> because I don't want her to fly out of her dress and I know who's gonna be the most rough on their dress is my mom. <laughs> it's true. So. We'll be doing cartwheels or something. Ding. Okay, then you put it to the side here. How important is it? It's really important, sadly. So that's all you're gonna do is go around the whole thing with just a stitch. I'm gonna tie it in a knot. Is this gonna make the puckers? Okay, ready? And so you just keep doing this until your dress fits into the front bodice of your okay. top. Someone has to go get a massage so we can't finish our <laughs> dresses. My bad. Anyway. Here is where we're leaving off. I just got the elastic in the back. That's what we were sizing. I'm just Bye. ready. I wish I didn't have to go, but I am excited about it. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye. All right. We're back and we're gonna finish the dresses. Oh, I was just getting into it. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, you don't have to start on a crease. Like you can un... No. That's okay. No, wait! What? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I've got this Okay, down. go forwards. Okay. <laughs> go forwards just a little. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> work, 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 yeah. work, work, work. I have work, that down. Work, work. One eternity later. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Introducing the thing we all didn't think was possible. Mia made, Mia made a garment and, and it looks half decent. decent. The first, the first bridesmaid, bridesmaid dress. dress. Woo! Woo! And the one that goes wild. This was the first dress that you guys saw me complete, and this is the dress that made me fall in love with the silhouette and feel a lot more confident in what I was doing because I had been so picky about the bridesmaid dresses that I felt like the only way I'm gonna find the one I like is if we make it. And I love this dress, by the way. I wouldn't wear this bra. I mean, I won't be wearing it. It'll be the bridesmaids, but like this bra wouldn't do. These dresses are also amazing because they're so adjustable. Like I didn't have to worry too much about sizing. I love it. So we need to look at the second one. What are you doing? Why are you walking in like that? Because it's just so fun. I love this dress. Look how nice it turned out. It's so cute. So my mom is my maid of honor and this is the maid of honor rendition of the dress. As you can see, the only difference is the ruffles. As you guys know, I have four bridesmaids. We've got three that are gonna be wearing dresses and then Tate is a bridesman and he's gonna be wearing a shirt, which I haven't quite figured out what we're gonna do for that yet. Initially I was gonna make one, but now I'm out of this fabric and I can't find it for the life of me. So I'm thinking maybe like just a green shirt, but we completed the third dress with the help of my mom. Wait, how are we gonna show that what? <gasps> Wait a minute. If you are here, <laughs> how are you there? Well, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that fun? A little editing magic for you. The dresses are complete. I really, really like them. I will be shocked and surprised if I change them now, because it was a lot of hard work. I love them. Like, they're handmade, they're beautiful, they're comfortable. They have everything that you wanted in a dress that you explained, so I'm not surprised you pulled it off. Initially, when I was trying to find my bridesmaid dress, a lot of you really, really liked the fourth bridesmaid dress, which I'll put here, because everyone was saying, Oh, it's so garden fairy, which as you guys know, if you're following my wedding prep series, whimsical garden vibes, fantasy, like that's sort of a big theme. Also food is a theme here. But the one thing that I wasn't for for the dress is I want to be the garden fairy. Like my dress is very fairy vibe. This really sells the garden picnic vibe that I'm going for. And then I will be the fairy. I love the gingham. I love the green. I think it's so pretty. And I think these dresses do a good job of being a little bit casual, but the length and the big skirt makes it feel wedding attire. I also don't have like a black tie wedding. If you have gathered that, it's gonna be kind of casual. So this will definitely fit in. And yeah, I'm super happy with them. I love that they're handmade. I'm really excited for my bridesmaids to see them. I hope they like them. And I mean, we didn't even mention, they're $11 each. $11. And at the end of the day, I had a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!